So let's, let's start with the basic uh, device. This is, this is just hollow tubing that's welded together. There's a hole in the top and you fill it with sand all the way down. This is all covered on the plans. And it's also covered in the, the basic air, air hammer booklet that you get when you buy one of these complete systems. We supply the booklet and it tells how to assemble this unit. Of course, if you're building your own, you really don't need this stuff because you're, you know, you're being your own creative person. And uh, you, know, you can clobber up what we offer or, or whatever to do what you want to do. Okay, what we start with is the basic um, lower die post. And this is all machined. We used to have a welded model. We got rid of that. It was too much trouble. So this is, this is machined together. Um, it's coated with a, with a black oxide coating. I put a rubber uh, shock pad in here. I've tried a lot of different uh, materials, conveyor belting, webbing, things like that, for different um, elements of sound absorption and shock absorption because with the heavy air units, this, this little frame will gallop across the countryside with you chasing it. Hey, you know what I just figured? As I was tightening this down, I figured that, you know, I had to put this on straight. I had this on backwards. This lower post here was on towards the rear. And, uh, you know, sometimes I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. So anyway, I turned it around the, the correct way here. And I've got the bolts coming down tight. Um, now the thing about these, these two bolts here is that I can tighten these bolts and this will rock this post front and rear. This upper bracket goes left and right. And this is essential for getting these to align perfectly. Now we have uh, precision ground dies for this and the mating faces on the dies can be set for a particular um, uh, included angle or set dead flat. Uh, for the shrinking operation, for planishing and things like that, you want to be able to have the maximum amount of flat contact that you can in order to accomplish the work without marks. So it's very important to have this, these two upper and lower set perfectly. Now the next thing I'll do is go on to the, to the clamping uh, system. This is held by four bolts on the back. It's a specially engineered eccentric that holds the air unit in here. You can put these down with Loctite. The same thing goes for the threaded part of this post. Loctite this. This is already hardened, heat treated. It's got a bolt through the center of it, so this should be Loctited. And follow the directions on the can of Loctite so that you use your grease, your grease removal uh, before you use that Loctite because you want to have a good permanent bond. There's no real reason I have to have the air unit in here at this time but it just gives you an idea as to the, as to the, you know, the function and the, the overall geometry of the part. I bring these bolts in. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make these bolts tight. I'm going to bring them down just a little bit snug so I can move this bracket around just a touch. But I want the bracket to be fairly, fairly well set. Once you get this set, it's not going to be going anywhere. You can use lock washers under these bolt heads if you want. Um, I'm, I'm changing these out so much I tend not to. Um, it's the principle of the properly tight torque bolt, like the connecting rods in your engine. They're going the same way. This is a machinist locking handle. It's got some nice special features um, about being able to deliver a very, very high amount of torque with a very little amount of pressure and then that zeroes back up out of the way. So now you can see this, this upper air unit moves in relationship to the lower. The lower moves front and back. Okay, I'm going to uh, pick up a set of dies here that are, that are uh, very critical. These would be for flanging steel or, or stainless steel, uh, turning a flange over along a pen line. And uh, these, these fit uh, very, very flat together. So I'll set these up. Uh, this will be my critical, my critical part on this uh, initial setup on the air, the air hammer. I've got the air unit tight in the, in the block. And now I'm going to set this with a little bit of a preliminary torque. 
and I'll check it underneath here. I've got good light behind here. I want to make sure this is It takes a little bit of time to get this to get this set. And I want to make sure that this the daylight that I see underneath here is uh, accurate. Then I'll tighten the bottom part because it's a little bit a little bit uh, off. And keep going until it's until they're good and snug. <laughs> 